Oh, hello. Welcome back to my Chanel and to a DIY and haul video. I thought I would shake things up a little bit by doing some DIY and crafting things within a regular haul video. I love making things and it's so much more satisfying knowing that I have a unique piece that no one else has and everything in this video is from Temu. And if you've never heard of Temu before, they are a website that has really affordable options in just about every category you can think of. Clothing, home supplies, decorations, crafting, which will be highlighted in today's video. They're having a site-wide sale right now with savings up to 90% off, which is crazy, and you get free shipping and free returns for up to 90 days. You can also download the Temu app to make your browsing a lot easier. There have been many nights where I'm scrolling in bed at 2 a.m. just saving things on the Temu app to my wish list. And if you download the app using the link in my description box below or my code, then you can get $100 worth of coupons for Temu. That's a lot of crafting supplies. <laughs> I will leave my link down below in the description box, or you could also use my code right here, which is JOIN4575. So let's start with the DIY projects I did and then I'll show you all the regular haul items I got after that including the most comfortable pair of shoes I have ever worn. The minute I got them, they stayed on my feet all day. <laughs> so for this first project, I wanted to make rosary-like necklaces. As you can probably tell, I love rosary-style jewelry and I wanted to make my own, but also put a little spooky twist on it by adding pentagrams, spider webs. So for this project, I used this one set carbon steel jewelry plier sets, flat nose pliers and chain nose pliers and round nose pliers and bent nose pliers and side cutter and end cutting pliers, deep pink. Now, unfortunately this looks like it's sold out, but I'm sure you could find similar on the website and I will link that if possible. But this is just a really cute set of six little pliers. As you already heard in the title, it comes with two sets of cutters and then several different types of pliers, including round nose and square nose. When you're making jewelry, this is a necessity. You need pliers. And then for the beads, I got 50 pieces of the 8mm Crystal Crack Bead DIY Bracelet Necklace Earrings Loose Spacer Beads for $1.43 in the color black. I thought these looked like moons and they are so gorgeous. They're really sparkly and I love how half are black and half are clear. I also got the clear colorful crystal beads faceted round line wheel glass beads, loose spacer beads for jewelry making. For 89 cents, I got the color black, and I think I got these in size 6 or 8 millimeters. I love black sparkly things, so I had to get these. They are gorgeous, and they're going to be perfect for making these necklaces. Next up are the One Strand Pack 4, 6, 8, 10 millimeter natural stone black rock lava beads, round loose spacer bead. For $1.98, and I got the 6 millimeter one. I think these are the most unique beads I've ever seen. I've never seen anything like these. They really do look like little lava rocks. They're chipped and cracked in all the right ways and I love how matte they are too. Then I also got the 50 Pieces Crystal Beads Check Glass Earring Bracelet Necklace Charms in the color purple for $1.48. These are stunning. I love the color purple. I don't have enough of it in my life. And I just love how shiny these are and how iridescent, so I had to make one out of these. And then last but not least for the beads, we have the Purple Tiger Eye Beads, 60 Natural Stone Loose Beads for $4.18. And I got the 8mm ones. These are gorgeous. They are a little smaller than I was expecting, but perfect for jewelry, all the same. Now, along with all of these, I had to get the rest of the accoutrement to make the rosary necklaces, which included these DIY cross pendant accessories for $1.97, these antique silver Halloween decoration charm spiderweb pendants for $1.52, these antique silvery spider pendants for $1.34, these star charm pendants for jewelry making for $0.89, cents, and these jewelry accessories cross pendants for $3.05 in the color antique silver. And then last but not least, I got these lobster clasps along with some jump rings and other things for jewelry making for 89 cents in the color silver. All of these have been awesome and they definitely made it easy to make my very own rosary necklace. The only thing I didn't think about when it came to making these projects was having a little chain because I forgot in most rosaries you have a little chain that connects the pieces next to each other. So I did get that separately, but I'm sure you could find that on Temu's website. But all of these charms are awesome. I love how many they included, and I use these across several different projects as well, not just this one. But the rosaries came out so good. I am so happy with them. The first one I made were using those kind of moon beads. I also used a pentagram charm for the middle of the rosary and one of the crucifixes I got in the pile of crosses. But I want to say it probably took me about two and a half hours each to make these rosaries, but like I said, totally worth it. Now I have unique pieces that no one else does. And they all came out so well. I love this lava rock one too. I ended up using a plain cross for this one. And if you'd like a little more of an in-depth tutorial on how I made everything in this video, I'm going to be posting shorts here on YouTube as well as Instagram and TikTok. 
For my next project, I customized some tops, and this was the one I was most excited for. I used the PU Leather Shaping Cami Tops Gothic Punk Push-Up Bustier Corset Top for $11.69, and I got size medium. And then I also got the Faux Leather Padless Cami Top Lace Trim Sleeveless Crop Bustier Top for $5.58, also in size medium. So I'll show you what the tops look like before. I love both of these. They both fit me fairly well. The one with the lace on the top is super pretty. I was not expecting the lace to have this little blue color in it. So gorgeous. This hooks up in the back. This is nice and stretchy, has adjustable straps. Lost the word for a second there. <laughs> just fits me very, very well. There is no padding in this whatsoever. And the material is like a faux leather. And then for the second one, this one already has some fun buckles and rings on it. This is a lot thicker than the other one. This has padding, so it's more of a push-up bra. And the straps on this one are detachable, which I thought was fun. So you can make this a strapless top. We have a D-ring down in the front, and we have buckles on either side. I will say this top doesn't fit me as well as the first one. The bust is a little open, it's gapping a little bit, so I'm gonna have to customize this even more, I think, for the fit. And the bottom on the loosest, you know, hook in the back is a little tight on me. I also use the Retro Dragon Claw Pendant Necklace Men's Punk Gothic Red Blue Stone Necklace Jewelry for $2.69, and I got the pair of them, red and black. The safety pins with six sizes box about 220 pieces for $3.99. This one-piece goth Egyptian cross on Key of Our Life necklace for $1.61 in the color silver, as well as some of the charms that I showed you earlier. And and I'll show you some inspiration that I found from AliExpress. I really wanted a customized top that looked like these, but I wanted to make it my own and not copy these exactly. So for this first one, I knew I wanted to use safety pins, and I'm really glad this safety pin box came with as many sizes as it did, because I used several different ones in this top. I think I used at least two or three different sizes. So I just kind of laid everything out on the floor and decided what would go where, and I decided I would have these safety pins along the tops of the cups, as well as down the seams in the front and along the bottom. So I use these medium-sized safety pins to go along the tops and the sides, and then the smaller ones on the bottom. I also decided to use the cross charms that I showed you earlier to go all the way down the bottom of each row of safety pins. The jump rings I got earlier to use with the rosaries also came in handy because that's how I attach them to the safety pins. And then as a final touch, I stitched a little spider charm right in the middle. And for that, I just used a needle and some black thread. But I am beyond happy with how this top came out. I love how the crosses all dangle and look. <sighs> I'm so excited. <laughs> I love it. This is definitely going to be one of my new favorite tops. And because I had some extra charms, I decided to make some cross earrings as well, which was super simple. I just threw them on the earring hooks and that was it. So for the second top, I wanted to do something completely different. When I was first looking at this top online, deciding what to put onto it, I saw that silver onk and I knew that would be perfect for the front. So that was the first thing I put on. I just stitched that using the same needle and thread right to the front. But then I decided I wanted something else that would dangle, so I grabbed the dragon claw necklace with the black ball and put that on the D-ring. And I attached that using that little chain I used from the rosary necklaces earlier. And then I still wasn't happy, I wanted to have even more. So I took my spider charms and I stitched a row of them all along the top of the cups. I wasn't sure if it was going to look good at first, but I'm really glad I did it because I think it just adds so much to the top. And then for the final touch, I took that same chain from earlier and I added two draping loops underneath. And I attached those to the D-ring as well as to the buckles on either side. Amazing. This, uh, I'm just, I'm so excited. This is so much fun. <laughs> I was a little worried I was adding too much, but now looking at it, I think it's perfect. And I love the spiders. I do wish I had more charms because I did run out of spiders, but I did order more, so I will be adding more spiders just to make sure the entire top of the cups is covered. I am so stoked with how this came out. I love everything about it, the chains. I think that was just the perfect touch. So this is going to be another one of my new favorite tops, for sure. And the only thing I want to mention with the pliers is that they were completely smooth. They didn't have any grooves, so it was a little hard to hold onto the jewelry as I was working with them. And the two cutters don't cut. You have to really like put a lot of pressure on them in order to get through the jewelry and after a while it will break through but they're not as sharp as I would have liked them to be. Next up is probably the most time-consuming project I did so far and this is making a goth pirate hat. And for this project I used the wide brim straw sun hat for $5.07 in the color black, the pirate skull double knife metal keychain for $1.34 in the antique tin color, the three yards roll embroidery lace trim for $2.97 in the color black, 500 pieces of AB Colorful Flatback Horse High Stones for $1.97 in the color purple, and the one roll of Solid Satin Ribbon for $2.19 in the color black. I was inspired to do this for a number of reasons. Number one, I love Pirates of the Caribbean. You guys know this. <laughs> 
I'm going to be a goth pirate this summer. I'm going to Florida. I'm going to go on a pirate ship. I am so excited. So I need to look the part. So obviously I started off with the hat in its normal state. I removed the ribbon first off that was around the middle of the hat because we don't need that. And then I set about trying to figure out what shape I wanted the hat to be. I knew I wanted a tricorn hat like Captain Jack Sparrow. So I took some pins and just kind of molded it into the shape that I wanted and then began the very intensive process of sewing everything onto the hat. First thing being this beautiful black lace trim. This trim is gorgeous. It is nice and thick. It is very soft and easy to work with and it just added so much to the hat. Then I took the satin ribbon and folded it in half to make a kind of buttonhole design and that was where I was going to put the Pirates of the Caribbean keychain that I got. The ribbon was also perfect for this project. Very easy to work with. I just ironed it so it would lay a little more flat and then once those were on I completely sewed the black ribbon along the outside of the brim of the hat. I think this may have taken me the longest out of everything for this piece. And then the last thing was just to stitch these sides of the hat up so it would keep that tricorn shape. I was going to add these little flat back stones which are really pretty and sparkly but I couldn't find a way to put them on that I was happy with and I feel like they were just taking away from the hat instead of adding to it. So I will no doubt use these for another project or just glue them on my face because who doesn't want to be sparkly? <laughs> so that is it for my DIY projects of things that I got from Tamu, which was a lot of work, but very, very fun. And now onto the clothes, accessories, and other items that I got for the haul portion of this video. For my pirate outfit, I had to get some accessories. So I got the solid double-breasted pea coat for $25.19 in the color black and size medium. I love this coat. It's perfect for a pirate cosplay or pirate outfit. I'm definitely gonna wear it with the buttons over Open so I can have, you know, my corset and my piratey outfit underneath, but this goes so well with the hat and I love the buttons and the fun little puff sleeves. It's a more feminine pirate coat, which is perfect, exactly what I was looking for. I also love how this is asymmetrical, shorter in the front, longer in the back, but I love it and it's perfect. Next up for my pirate outfit, I got the One Piece Men's Gothic Style Skull Link Chain Bracelet for $1.61. I was originally going to take this apart and use them as beads, but they're such nice quality and I love them on a bracelet so much, I kept them as is. This is a lobster clasp bracelet and they feel nice and heavy but they're not too heavy and just the skull mold on these, it looks so good. Next up we have the Halloween earrings bat with black synthetic gemstone decor dangle earrings for $1.34. This is another thing I might add to my pirate hacks. I was thinking about adding some dangles or I might just wear these as regular earrings. They are very cute. I like the clasps. They're very secure so I know they're not going to fly out of my ears and they have little bats on them, and I just really love the style and little black jewels. They're perfect, exactly what I wanted. Next up we have the Silk Do-Rag for Men Banana Silky Do-Rag Do-Rag for $1.16, and I got the color black. I got this because whenever I wear hats like the straw one that I used to make the pirate hat, my hair always gets caught in it. Plus, pirates wear bandanas, so I would have a silky black bandana for my pirate look. And this is perfect. It ties in the back. It's nice and lightweight and silky. And it adds a little bit of elegance to the pirate costume because I don't think a lot of pirates wore silk. Next up, we have the one pair elastic black long gloves mesh breathable extended gloves, $1.88. Now, unfortunately, they did not send me the right gloves. They somehow got a mix up, but I wanted plain black mesh gloves to go with my pirate look, but we had these gorgeous black lace ones instead. They're really pretty. I like them. I just wish I had gotten the black mesh ones. These are very long and stretchy, and they do add some fun texture. Next up is the Universal Cell Phone Chest Mount Harness for $8.99. There are times when I'm crafting where I just, I really want to show you what I'm doing with my hands right in front of me, but it's hard to get a tripod there. So I thought this would be perfect for future DIY videos. If you guys want to see more, I can film as I'm working with my hands right in front of me so you can see exactly what I'm doing. So this is perfect. It is very stretchy. It's adjustable. You put it together yourself. It's fairly easy to figure out. There are no instructions though, but it comes with a phone mount so you can film, you know, vertically or horizontally. It moves so you can do either or. Next up, we got the lace headband with velvet adjustable elastic wig for $2.08. And I got the nude color. I've been wanting one of these for forever because I have one that is completely velvet all along the edge of it and it works really well for keeping my wigs on but you can clearly see the difference between my scalp color and the velvet of the headband. So with this one, this will look a lot more like skin because you'll just see my wig cap underneath instead of the stark difference between my skin and then the headband. But this is Velcro, goes around your head, very stretchy, and it's an easy way to wear a wig without having to glue it down. Next up is my favorite favorite item. This is the Women's Skull Novelty Slides Non-Slip Thick Sole Sports Sliders for outdoor summer walking for $13.98 and I got these in the color black. I am not kidding when I say that the minute I got these out of the package and on my feet, 
they stay there for the rest of the day. These are so comfy. I love the design. They are so creepy. I love the skull faces. It feels like you're walking on clouds. They're really nice thick foam. There are skulls everywhere on these and I'm sorry they're a little dirty but I could not wait to wear them before filming so they've gotten a lot of love so far but they have skulls everywhere they have skulls and crossbones in there too I just love the design overall the mold of this is incredible and they're just so comfy what more could you ask for in a shoe and they're true to size too I forgot to mention I got size eight and a half to nine and I'm an eight and a half so they're perfect next up we have the fashion punk ghost 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 rock band pendant necklace gothic personality jewelry for one dollar and 79 cents ghost 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 <laughs> i love that they said ghost three times it's like summoning beetlejuice i have recently gotten into the band ghost i don't know why it's taking me this long but i am really glad i'm here <laughs> as you may have noticed i've been wearing this necklace the entire video i love it it's perfect it is very very lightweight it is their logo obviously the upside down cross and the g and i've been listening to their music the whole week on repeat next up i got the gothic vampire bleeding tusk teeth necklace for two dollars and 51 cents and i got the color silver and red this is such a fun little necklace i have a couple of necklaces like this but i just love the shape of the vampire fangs the teeth are so cool it is bright and shiny silver and then we have the two blood droplets which are the red beads and the chain is nice as well and i honestly wasn't sure if i was going to put this on my top instead of the other pendant i used but I think I like this more as a necklace. And then last but not least, we have the Red Leaf Sunny Umbrella, double layer plus sturdy sunny, and rainy dual use umbrella for $13.49. And I got the color red. This just makes me think of Dracula or a vampire that's going out to avoid the sun. I love how red the inside of this umbrella is, and the outside being black is perfect. Two of my favorite colors. And I was surprised by how sturdy and good quality this umbrella is. It is a push to open and it unfurls quite nicely. This is not a cheap, cheesy umbrella. This will definitely last throughout rain, wind, you know, thunderstorms. <laughs> and it also comes with a little fabric case that you can put it into. And that is it for my DIY slash haul video. Hope you enjoyed. I had so much fun making all of these things. I love crafting in case you couldn't tell by the end of this video, but it's just so satisfying to sit there and make something. And let me know down below if you've done any fun DIYs or crafts lately. But if you saw anything that you liked in this video and you would like to get it for yourself, you can use my link down below in the description or use this code right here. Join 4575 to get $100 worth of coupons on Tamu. You could get all the things. <laughs> but I hope you're having a wonderful day or night wherever you are. And I will see you in my next video. Bye. <coughs> oh. <laughs> I love tasting my breakfast twice. It's delicious. Which I have. Makes browsing and saving these. <laughs> and for this one, I use the wide brim straw sun hat ribbon bone out solid color sunscreen. Yes. I'm a moron. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so graceful. And how the heck did I get black stuff on my boobs? <laughs> Man, jokers make it hard to sing. <laughs> Oh, okay, look, I can't tell. I just went viral on TikTok. I did a video singing in a church that part from Rammstein song Sonnet, the opera aria, and it is currently sitting at 2.1 million views. Insane. I cannot fathom that that many people have watched me sing. It's, uh, <laughs> it's a little crazy.